I just want to make a quick video uh, because there is a lot of fuss about Golang recently where uh, I'm not quite sure what the name is, but uh, basically the guy that made the, I think it's the ghosty terminal uh, written in Zig and apparently he's been writing Go for 10 years and now he's bashing on the language uh, telling that it's whatever you know what i mean we know we know what things he said so for the people that are writing go and love go i would not be too concerned or for the people that are willing to learn go uh, don't let you fool you by people that are looking for uh, shiny objects uh, because uh, yeah they are bored you know what i mean that's the thing so let me show you something this is uh, a golang uh, desktop application that i built and i'm going to add some uh, extra charts on top of it just to give you guys an idea um, if Golang is good or bad, you know what I mean? So you need to understand that this application also has uh, underlying data that it's basically pulling in in real time. Um, so there's a lot of data points um, involved here, you know what I mean? So it's not a big of a deal. So you need to understand that this is running at one, 144 FPS, which is basically capped at my monitor uh, refresh rate. It's really not a minimalistic thing. For the people that are writing Rust and they are bashing on Go, well, try to build this in your language, in Rust or in Zig. And once it's built and it's running at the same uh, speed as my Golang application here, well, then we can talk uh, with each other, you know what I mean? So uh, again, it's running an underlying actor that's connecting to the exchanges, uh, pulling in all the data, computing heat maps um, with a very fine price group so with a depth of thousand so there is like 100,000 blocks being rendered on the screen uh, in the background here and you can see I can actually just move it around it's all smooth all these channels let me close them so I can show you a bit more of the heat map let me zoom it this completely out here you can see this is like you need to understand how many things are being drawn here is insane um, let me zoom in actually a little bit for the text as well here <clears throat> so it pans perfectly no big of a deal you know what i mean so this is all built in golang and you can stack as much charts as you want and it's not going to give a single problem so that's that so if you're still concerned that golang is not performant enough uh, if that cannot convince you, well, nothing will. So uh, basically I have some good news as well. So for the people that are willing to learn how this is built, um, I am selling the application in a pre-sale right now and I'm going to bump up the price tomorrow because it's a supply and demand. I told people that uh, for each X amount of sales, I'm going to up the price and this is going to be the second time because it's a very popular thing. So if you're a trader or something and you want to be involved in building this, go your, uh, check the link in the description, or you wanted to learn how to get the maximum speed out of Golang and build these complex applications, uh, if that's something for you, check the link down in the description. There are also going to be video guides released. Uh, it's not going to be a step-by-step -step guide, but it's going to give you an overview how these thing, things work. Uh, and you're going to have lifetime updates of the source code for you to learn about. Uh, so if that's something for you, check the link down in the description. So just want to do a little flex here on the application. So for the people that love Golang, you can sleep on your boat ears. Everything is fine, guys. We have the most amazing language. It's minimalistic for minimalists like us. So we can build the greatest things. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Join the Discord community. Check the link in the description. And I'm looking forward to see you in my next live stream or video. Peace and love.